Hello my pretties, Gormac back here finally with another video. I know it's been a little while, but there's been a lot going on. Uh, this is the colored vinyl video. So this was an idea of my uh, daughter and producer, Trinity. Um, she suggested I go through our my collection, or our collection actually, because there's a couple of her vinyls in here, and uh, pick out all the colored ones and just show them to you for fun. We thought this would be, you know, something interesting. Maybe you guys would like to see the different variants that we have managed to collect. Uh, we've only been collecting vinyl for a little over maybe a year, 18 months, somewhere around there. Um, I don't buy a lot of them because they're freaking expensive. But when I do, I like to try to get albums on a variant if I can. So we're going to start with some 7 inches that I got. A few of these you've probably seen in my Relapse Record 7 inch grab bag that I did. But we're going to go over them again anyways. And the first one is a pretty cool, uh, the album cover is great, but the vinyl looks awesome too. This is Terror with Legion of Gore. It's got uh, two songs on it and they both kicked major, major ass. And this is kind of like a reddish blood on one side and it's black on the other. So I would say it qualifies because it's got that blood red vibe going on there. But it's, it's, a, it's pretty cool. We're not going to talk about the music today. It's going to be just about the vinyl. So that's that one. That one's pretty cool. The next one, I honestly don't even know who the hell this is. This is a split uh, with Cripple Bastards and no idea who the other band is because their logo is a classic uh, death metal logo. But here's the artwork for this sucker. It's uh, the Slime Wave Compilation Series, I believe it's called. And the vinyl itself is a very cool marbled blue and clear vinyl. This is actually quite cool. Um, again, I can't really tell you the second band name. So if you can see that on there, that would be very cool if you could tell me what's going on with that. All I know is like what I remember of this, this was actually a pretty decent um, seven inch. I love seven inch vinyls. If you only have like 20 minutes or so to listen to music, they're, they're the best. Another split that I got here was um, Avenger of Blood and Witch Haven. This one is a clear vinyl. I love clear vinyls. These are really, they look really cool. Um, I don't honestly remember much about this release, but you know, it. the vinyl looks cool. So as far as I'm concerned, that's all that really matters. This is Maximum and the Spades. Another, this was another one I got from the uh, Relapse um, seven inch deal. They don't have it for sale right now, but they'll probably put it up. This is a nice blue vinyl. I've noticed that a lot of seven inches um, are, are colored, uh, which I think is a pretty cool thing. Uh, when my record drops this summer, I'm going to be offering um, a 7 inch as well, and it's probably going to be a weird color because why the hell not? The next one, this is this was one of my favorite 7 inches I've ever gotten. This is Grave Plague with the Infected Crips. This, I know we weren't going to talk about the music, but holy crap crap does this rip and look at that beautiful green vinyl that's gorgeous man i love this this is amazing i'd like to get a full length out of that band this is a black metal band uh metastasi i believe they're from canada funeral doom sorry they're not black metal what the hell is wrong with me crazy bugger this is very very cool stuff and it's got a clear green vinyl going there Beautiful. Just love that. And the music on this is really... I don't... I can't tell you. It's just amazing. Um, so those are my 7 inches that are the colored 7 inches. I have a few more that 
um, are not colored, but we're not getting into that. Now we're going to talk about a couple of vinyls uh, that my daughter owns. And um, I don't care what metalheads say. I like this band. They're fun. Uh, this is the second Water Parks album. This is called Entertainment, which these young guys really are entertaining. Believe me, they're pretty funny. This is a clear with a splatter with purple. This is beautiful. This, this work is gorgeous. You may not like the music, and if you don't, that's cool. But you got to love that vinyl. That is just a thing of beauty, man. So I thank my daughter for bringing that to the table so we could take a look at that. And then there's the Water Park's first album, which for me is the one I like. Uh, again, if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. I like all kinds of music. I listen to classical, metal, blues, folk, country, uh, a little bit of rap, not very much. Um, and of course, the great metal. But this pop punk band is one of the few I can stomach. And I'll be seeing them on Warp Tour in July. So this is going to be pretty cool. But this is their first record called Double Dare. And it's on a beautiful, I would say red vinyl or pinkish red vinyl. My daughter's telling me that it's pink. Now, <laughs> any of you who follow me on social media know that I've had a number of eye surgeries in the last couple of years. So not only is my vision shit, it seems as though my color is shit too, which makes this, this video all the more ironic. I don't know if this is a colored vinyl or not. My daughter may have just slipped it in there for fun. That's color in it. This is not a colored vinyl. This is. Hmm? Is it? Open it. <laughs> I'm being told different. This is a black vinyl. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> because my daughter's a dork. However, I'm going to show this some bitch off anyway because it is one of my favorite albums of all time. Never send a kid to do, uh... What? Anyway. <laughs> At the Gates, Slaughter of the Soul. This is a record you have to own in your collection. I know it's not colored vinyl, but who gives a shit? This is awesome. I love this album. So, you know what? I think my daughter just put it in there because she knew how much I loved it. And said, well, you know what? Dad's going to want to show this off anyway. So. See, here on the Gormak channel, we keep it a family affair, guys. So what I'm going to say about this record, go fucking buy it now. Next. This one I got at a show last year with uh, Sabaton, Leaves Eyes, and Battle Beast. This is Battle Beast's 2017 album, Bringer of Pain. Uh, this is a double vinyl, and it is stuck in the case, because why the hell not? It's also in my autographed copy, which was very cool. I got to meet the band. Super nice. Lead singer's a mega babe. Clear vinyl. Love this. Gorgeous. And the better, the other thing I like about this album is it's actually good. Sometimes you get these power metal bands. They put out a record. Sounds like crap. This one... I love this album. It was on my top 25 of last year. If you don't have it, pick it up. Good stuff. This is an album I got on the from the Metalhead box. Um, still can't really pronounce the band name very well. But I'm going to say... I don't know. Whatever. All I know is it's a good record. Gray vinyl, man. Look at that. That's badass. I believe it's Atri Atriarch. Not really sure, but you know what? It's a beautiful vinyl. It's good music. Sounds good. And again, it's a Metalhead Box release that I got. So I really enjoyed it. And again, um, my Metalhead Box is... Um, of the doom metal variety, which I probably will never change, um, just because I myself will be making a doom is or I am making a doom record right now, and I love the that music. It's it's just 
really, I don't know how to describe it. It's amazing. The next vinyl is something I bought from Hell's Headbangers. And I love Hell's Headbangers. Great website. If you're going to buy underground metal, go there. This is Acid Witch with Midnight Movies EP. Very, very cool stuff. This is beautiful as well. Beautiful red vinyl. Look at that. That is sexy. Look at you. You sexy beast, you. Again, that is the Mighty Acid Witch. I have yet to get their new record. I'm going to order it closer to Halloween. Um, because Acid Witch is pretty much a Halloween band, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, this one here... Um, this is directed especially to you, Melissa Box, from the Metalhead Box. Uh, you had mentioned this record online one day that you were listening to it, so I went and I scoped it out and listened to it, and I had to buy a vinyl copy of this as fast as I possibly could. I found somebody on eBay selling it uh, over in Europe. This was pressed to 300 copies. I have copy number 148. I am very proud to own this. This is a black metal band called Black Salise with a Corpse, a Temple. This is... This is one of my favorite vinyls in my entire collection. Not just because it's a beautiful blood red vinyl. Look at that. That is gorgeous. But because the music on this is uncompromising. This is brutal from the second you put it on till it finishes. And it's just... Anyway, this is your fault, Melissa. <laughs> I went and bought this. And it's worth every penny I spent on it. And uh, I actually thank you, Melissa, for getting me interested in this band um, or project. I'm pretty sure it's just one dude. It's so good. I love it. Next. Anybody who's watched this channel before has seen this review. And this was a pretty cool record from last year. Um, with a very, very interesting album cover. Here you go. Once again, guys, we're here with Bone Hunter with Sexual Panic Human Machine. That's a mouthful. No pun intended with the giant <laughs> werewolf cock on the cover. However, the vinyl for this is probably one of the gnarliest things I've ever seen on wax. Look at that. It looks as if it's puking. This is gorgeous, man. Look at this shit. That is awesome. I know, right? My bird agrees with me. She's telling you like it is, bitches. Go buy this shit. This is how you make a vinyl. This looks metal as shit. Take my bird's advice. Head over to Hell's Headbangers and buy this shit right now. If it'll go back in the damn sleeve. Gotta get through this. We still got a whole bunch of records left to do here, guys, and I'm starting to sweat like a pig. It's freaking hot in my house. I live in a house with uh, four women and my son and I, and they're always cold. Don't I don't know why, guys. If any of you know why, you tell me. This is one of my favorite albums ever made. This is Between the Buried and Me, Coma Ecliptic. I have this on a number of different versions. I bought this at the show when they were touring with Devin Townsend. Um, they played this record in its entirety and they had the vinyl for sale uh, at the show. And I actually just, I don't, I, I can't really describe why I love this album so much. Just that it is, it's beautiful. It's that simple. The music on this, is incredible and that is a beautiful vinyl guys it's like a smoky vinyl that's how my daughter described it I was like no I don't think that record is a colored vinyl she goes no dad this is it is and you'll see when you put it on that you're a dumbass and you know all that so I'm a dumbass this is a nice smoky vinyl and on top of that it's got some great music on it some longtime fans between the buried and me aren't a, aren't crazy about this record but you know what? It's the beauty of music, guys. We all have our favorites. Let's check out the next one. This one, you guys are going to laugh your asses off. Um, I'm a big fan of this movie. Uh, having three daughters. I've seen every freaking Disney movie ever made. 
and I saw this at a local shop and I had to own it. This is, and I don't care if you're going to verbally bitch slap me down in the comment section for this, don't care. But this, Beauty and the Beast, the official picture disc soundtrack. I don't care. This is some cool shit. I like this, okay? One side you got the, you got Bell Rock in there. The other side you got the Beast. So you don't like it? Fuck you. Next. Another one of my all-time favorite records. This is Entombed. Wolverine Blues. This is the reissue from last year. Um, I wanted to treat myself to something for Christmas. So I bought myself an Entombed Long Sleeve shirt, which I think I've worn in one video. And this. And this is a beautiful gray vinyl. For some reason, I seem to always get the gray vinyls. I don't know why, and I don't care. I like the color gray. It looks cool on the turntable. And this, this album, is... I don't care what you say. If you don't like it, I don't care. I do. Fuck you. Next. Now, if you've ever watched my channel, you will definitely know this band because I... Sing the praises from the top of the mountaintops for these guys. This is the only 10 out of 10 or 100 out of 100, if you're going to use the 100-point scale record I have ever given. This is the perfect album in my eyes. This is Crypt Sermon with Out of the Garden. First off, drink in that artwork. That is gorgeous. This is how you do an album cover. Gorgeous. The vinyl guys, even more badass, as far as I'm concerned. This is nice, guys. Look at this shit. Like a clear, creamy vinyl. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just like the music on this piece of wax here. I can't say enough good things about this band. I can't wait for their next album. Guys, please hurry up and make a new record. Um, that being said... If it takes you a while to come close to this this album, I'm willing to wait a few more months for it. But god damn, guys, go buy this right now. Perfect. Next. What the hell is this? Oh. <laughs> this is the band City of Ships with a... It's a compilation of a couple of years of recording from 2006, 2007. This was a blind buy off Hell's Headbangers for me. Um, I liked this band. They're, they're pretty good. Um, the vinyl is very, very cool. Like, it's very trippy looking. Look at that, man. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Just, that's trippy. So, you know what, man? Like, these guys may not be your cup of tea musically, but... Again, we're not always talking just about the music, guys. We're talking about the uh, color of the vinyl. Now, if I make a comment about the music, well, that's my choice because it's my video, right? All right, let's move on. Let's put this back in the sleeve here of Doom here. He doesn't want to go in, damn it. Next. This is a lady I got into about a year ago, just under a year ago. Um... Because of Mirkir, actually. Um, Mirkir had a uh, duet with her on her latest album. And I went back and started listening to this woman's stuff. This is a live EP of Chelsea Wolfe. Um, God damn, man. I love this woman's voice. It's just... It's incredible. Here's the vinyl. Beautiful baby blue. Look at that. That's gorgeous right there. That's a thing of beauty, let me tell you. And this is a really good release. I really enjoy this. This is very cool. She's got a very magical voice. I would have loved to have seen her uh, open for ministry, but that the show here in Toronto sold out. All right. This is one of my favorite bands, Mastodon. This is with Crack the Sky. This is the uh, colored version of this sucker. I can't remember where I got this. I think it was HMV before they died. This is a very light blue vinyl. That's just gorgeous, man. 
That looks so cool on the record player going. It's like a big freaking eyeball. Which works with this record, actually. And if you don't like Mastodon, well, go to hell. Because I do. And Mastodon kicks ass. Alright, let's move to the next one, guys. There's another Mastodon album. Oh, what a shock, eh? This is the Call of the Mastodon. This is all their earlier works put together. Um, there you go. There's the album cover. This is this is a really raw record, man, but the vinyl is gorgeous. Look at that. That is some beauty right there, guys. I love that. That sort of marbling kind of phasing in and out from the white to the red. Very cool stuff. Um, this is still one of my go-tos when I'm in a really pissed off mood. I'll put this record on and damn. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, here is some. I never really did Record Store Day until a few years ago. And this was the very first thing I bought on Record Store Day. This is the Iron Maiden Empire of the Clouds EP on picture disc. Dad is slipping out of sleep. I can see that because I'm a dumbass. There we go. This is gorgeous. Um, I very rarely play this because I don't want it to get screwed up on my shitty turntable. I have to get a better turntable. But look at that art. That's gorgeous, man. And then on the second side of this is a is an interview about the, the record. So it's also kind of set up as a... Um, Looks like a newspaper. So that's kind of cool. It was a very... Uh, for a single, it was expensive, but it was worth it because it's one of my favorite pieces. The next is From the Depths. I believe this was also something I bought blind off of Hell's Headbangers. Once in a while, I'll go on Hell's Headbangers, throw a couple of vinyl in the um, cart, and just try them out. If they suck, they suck. I'm out 20 bucks. Who cares? There's the incredible artwork for this album. This is a, and this actually turned out to be a very good album. Like I really enjoyed this a lot. I'm pretty sure my daughter enjoyed it too. Um, she's kind of new to the heavier stuff. She's more into water parks and stuff. What? <laughs> Here's the uh, splatter. It's got different colors in there. I really like that. That's a really neat looking vinyl. It's got kind of the exploding from the inside, but um, yeah. It's um, another one of these nice colored vinyls that we got here. And, uh, you know, I'm going to spend the money on a vinyl if it'll go in the damn sleeve. There we go. Um, I'll spend the money on a vinyl if it's color variant or certain bands. Um, okay, let me fix that one after. Just being a bitch. And here's a non-metal vinyl. Again, if you don't like this, I don't give a shit. I love this woman. I think she is super talented. She's beautiful. She's hilarious. This is Lindsay Sterling. This is her first record. Lindsay Sterling has inspired me to learn how to play violin. So I have purchased myself a violin, and I will be taking lessons. And this is like a banana or cream-colored... I said Splatter. It looks like egg yolk. Okay, yeah, yeah. My daughter uh, said it looked more like an egg yolk. So there you go, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. And the music on this record, you may not like pop music. I'm not a big pop music guy. I don't consider her music really pop. Um, she's just so talented. It's ridiculous. This is a great. Okay, first off, two things about this release. The band name is badass. Lucifer's Hammer with Beyond the Omens. The album cover is incredible. And the music, awesome. The song Hammer of the Gods, I love it. Just love it. And this is a nice splatter blue. Blue and black splatter. Love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous vinyl, man. Absolutely love that. Uh, it's... You can tell I like uh, I like my color variants, don't I? And this one I got through the Metalhead Box. So once again, Melissa and the guys at the Metalhead Box, thank you. You guys seem to always get me some pretty cool shit in my box. So 
All right, next, this is a non-metal band, but I don't know, I like I like the singer's voice. Um, the music's pretty cool. This is, uh, I guess it's pronounced Para Paris. I'm not sure, with white noise. Uh, we ordered my daughter's water parks vinyl, and at the same time, to get a cheaper shipping rate, it made sense to order another vinyl. Couldn't really find anything else I wanted, so I thought, I like these guys, they're all right. This came with um, a DVD and an EP on seven inch, and it's on a nice gray and black split vinyl. That is so neat, I love that. That is white in that too. Oh shit, <laughs> I've been told there's white as well. Oh yeah, there we go. See, there you go. That would have been an outtake if we were, if we were editing it. And it doesn't want to go in because it hates me. And for my daughter's information, she's going to be the one recategorizing all the vinyl and putting them back where they were before, not me. Because this was her crazy ass idea. Another non-metal vinyl, and again, I don't care if you like it or not, is She and Him's Christmas Party. I got this for like 10 bucks at HMV right before it died, so I like that. Also, it has the incredibly beautiful and talented Zoe Deschanel of um, Elf fame and of New Girl fame singing. And she's got a really nice voice, actually. And this is, you know, as expected for a Christmas album. It's got red vinyl. Ho, ho, ho. And we are saving the best. The sickest for last. The sickest vinyl I've ever owned for last and one of my favorite bands of all time the mighty Judas Priest who I'm seeing with my daughter in three days with their new classic album now as far as I'm concerned Firepower holy shit first off the album's incredible okay I don't care what you say this is a great record until you see this. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Watching this go around on the turntable is actually a treat. It sounds good. It looks freaking amazing. And in a couple of days, I will be rocking out with the band in Oshawa, Ontario. So guys, we, we left the best for Look at that son of a bitch. Beautiful. All right, guys. That is all the colored vinyl I have. I have more vinyl, but, you know, we're not really going to go through those. Um, so tell me what your favorite colored vinyl is. Leave me a message in the comment section there. We'll check it out. Uh, I try to respond to the messages the best I can. Sometimes I miss them. Uh, but for now, that's Gormac. Leave your stick on the ice. And take care of each other. See you later.